Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by windowslearningzone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up your system to use both ethernet and wireless Wi-Fi together at the same time. Why would you wanna do this? Well, I'll explain why in just a minute. All right, here's the problem. Slow internet on your office LAN. You need a wired ethernet connection to access your local network resources, servers, printers, shared files, other computers, that kinds of stuff, network storage. However, your internet connection over that LAN is slow or unreliable. I hear from a lot of people who say they like to watch my videos at work, but their internet is atrocious, either because their IT people are throttling it down or because their network is just slow. I have a unique situation, which I'll talk about in a minute. So the solution is to use your phone for wireless internet. If your laptop or your PC has a wireless adapter, most do or you can purchase one very inexpensively, you can connect to a faster Wi-Fi network like your phone's hotspot for internet while still staying connected to the office LAN for your local access. So you can still connect to the server, other computers, network storage, that kind of stuff over the wired ethernet. Windows lets you prioritize which network to use for internet so you can have the best of both worlds. Now here's my setup and this is why I had to set this up on my own network because recently I had a problem with my internet. Let me, let me explain. So I've got a local area network wired set up in my home office with my laptop, a server, some printers, network storage, and so on. I prefer wired ethernet for speed and security. All right, it's, there's nothing faster to copy files between machines or to your network storage than using a wired internet or wired ethernet, okay? It's much faster than wireless. I have Comcast Business Gigabit Ethernet, which is normally very fast and reliable. I'm usually very happy with it. It's connected to my network switch, so the whole network gets internet. I don't like Comcast's wireless router that's built into their equipment, so I installed my own. I turned off their uh, wireless, and I got my own TP-Link to provide Wi-Fi to the rest of the house, TVs, Alexa devices, that kind of stuff. Now, I also have a cellular backup modem. It sits between my switch and the cable modem. So in the event that the main wired internet goes down, the cellular connection kicks in automatically. And this just happened to me last weekend on Sunday. It went down. It's been down for three days, and I'm waiting for them to come out tomorrow to fix it. Something's wrong either with the modem or the connection to the house or something. So I've been running on cellular internet for the last couple of days. It keeps things up and running like my server and, you know, I can, I can browse the web barely. I can check email, that kind of stuff, but it's painfully slow. No, I mean painfully slow, like 1990s slow. I uploaded a tech help video the other day. It was a 15 minute video. It took over two hours to upload to YouTube. Really slow. So this is where switching to your mobile hotspot on your cell phone comes in because the cellular modem, it kicks in automatically and it can keep most other non-bandwidth intensive things running. But then I can connect my laptop, which I need speed on, to my phone's hotspot. And it's much faster. It's still not as fast as my gigabit ethernet, but it won't take two hours to upload a 15 minute video either. Normally I get about a thousand down and 200 up. So this is, this is doable. I can survive with this. I uploaded some videos this morning. It took a few minutes, so that's not too bad. So how do you do this? Well, first you got to set up a hotspot on your phone. And I do this a lot while I'm traveling too. If I got good cell service, I would rather use a hotspot on my phone with my laptop than get on hotel Wi-Fi. I don't trust hotel Wi-Fi. Too many people out there could be snooping. So I like to set up my own secure connection. So Setting up an actual mobile hotspot is beyond the scope of this video. Since it's different for every phone, iPhones and Android devices are different. I don't use iPhones at all. I have a Samsung Flip 6. It's basically like a Samsung Galaxy. Really easy to do. You go into settings, you search for mobile hotspot, you configure it, you give it a network name and a password. It's easy. My grandma could do it. Once it's turned on, your other devices will see it like any other Wi-Fi network. All right, so check your phone's documentation or do a quick web search or look for other YouTube videos. If enough of you want to see a tutorial on how to set up a mobile hotspot on a Galaxy phone or an Android phone in general, post a comment down below. I'll make one. 
I figure for most of the people who come to my channel, this is easy stuff. You could probably figure this out in about 10 minutes. And yes, I connected my Roku to it last night to watch TV before I went to bed. And yes, my laptop's name is Picard. Go figure, right? <laughs> All right, so once you got your Wi-Fi hotspot set up and running on your phone and it's active, go to your laptop or your PC. All right, click on this little guy down here, your network connections down here, turn on your Wi-Fi connection, and then connect to the hotspot network that you just made. You'll type in your password and it'll say connected secure. And at this point, hold your mouse over the little Wi-Fi symbol and you should see that you are connected to two networks now, your Wi-Fi and your LAN, right? Rick's phone has my internet access. Network two is my LAN. Now, the problem is, is that Windows doesn't always know which network to use for internet. In my case, it was still using network two for internet because that's the one it always uses. So what we have to do is we have to manually configure the adapters and say, hey, for internet traffic, I want you to use Rick's phone. It'll still use this one for file sharing and connecting to the server and all that stuff, but this is the one we wanna use for internet. So how do we do that? All right, so go to your control panel. I get there by hitting the start button and then just typing in control in the search bar here. You'll see control panel, open up the control panel. You're gonna to go to network and internet and then the network and sharing center and then click on change adapter settings. You can see I got my two right here, right? Now you're gonna right click on your Wi-Fi adapter. You should see your multiple adapters here. You got ethernet, Wi-Fi, you might have Bluetooth. I have my Bluetooth disabled, right? Right click on your Wi-Fi adapter and come down to properties. Find your internet protocol version four and then pick properties. Ignore all this stuff. Don't change this. Come down here and click on advanced. Now, the only thing you care about down here is this little guy right here, this automatic metric. Turn that off. Uncheck that box and put the number 10 in here. Okay. Then you're going to click OK, OK, OK a couple times. That'll bring you back to the network connections window. Now, we're going to do the same thing all over again for the Ethernet connection. So right click on your ethernet connection and go to properties. Again, internet protocol version four, hit properties again, click advanced. Now this time, disable the automatic metric and put a higher number in here, like 50. All right, this number has to be higher than the number that you put in for your Wi-Fi. Higher number equals lower priority. We're essentially saying for internet, for the internet adapter, right? We want to prioritize Rick's phone or your cell phone, your hot phone, your, your hotspot connection. Okay, so it'll still use this network if the Wi-Fi isn't available. But if it can get to the internet over the other one, it'll prioritize that. And that's it. Now you're the happy guy, right? Now your PC should use your LAN for traffic to your server, printers, file shares, all that stuff. And your Wi-Fi hotspot will be used for internet traffic. Yay. And hint, this is also a good solution if your corporate network blocks YouTube or my website and you're trying to watch educational videos to further your job skills. I'm just saying. I do hear from people all the time. They tell me they love to watch my videos at work, but and they're allowed to. It's not like they're going to get in trouble, but their IT people have either blocked YouTube completely or they've blocked my video server, right? If that's the case, do that little trick on your laptop and you can bypass their LAN and you can watch your videos and get your internet stuff right off your phone. So that's it. That's, that's not that hard. It's pretty simple. And uh, you'll thank me uh, if you got much, much faster internet over your phone than you do off your, uh, your wired internet like I do. I'm, I'm surviving off it until Comcast gets here tomorrow and hopefully fixes my setup. But that's going to do it, folks. That is your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you want me to post more videos about Microsoft Windows, then be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and post a comment down below. Let me know that you want more Windows videos. About 90% of what I teach is Microsoft Access database design, but I love teaching Windows, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and all those other topics too. But of course, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. So if you want more Windows training, make some noise.
You can watch my entire Microsoft Windows beginner level one course absolutely free on my website and on my YouTube channel. It's over an hour long and covers all the basics. If you like level one and want to learn more about Windows, visit my website at the link shown and you can get level two, which is another complete hour long course for just $1. Level two goes into a lot more depth and teaches you how to get the most out of Windows. Visit my website today for more information.